80 10 diet, uh, diet do you think it's uh, sufficient? And, you know, probably a lot of even vegans probably question, you know, a fruit based, vegetable based diet. Um, so, uh, if you can please just kind of go into the, the whole protein thing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <clears throat> it's one of those, I think it's so, almost a cosmic joke. The, the people on the standard Western diet ask the vegetarians where do they get their protein and the vegetarians then ask the vegans where do you get your protein the vegans ask the raw fooders where do you get your protein and the raw fooders ask the guys on the 80 10 10 where do you get your protein mm -hmm. meanwhile we're all eating about the same amount of protein pretty much everybody's eating in a, a range of protein that hovers somewhere right around 10 percent unless you're going out of your way to eat protein powder out of a can uh, empty calories out of a can uh, and then and then you might up your protein to 16, 18, 20 percent of your calories consumed or even more. Uh, but there is no medical condition known as too little protein. This, this doesn't exist in medicine. The people who study uh, medicine in terms of kidney health, liver health, joint health, uh, all recommend protein consumption somewhere between 3 to 10 percent. Uh, the people who study sports performance recommend protein intake somewhere between 3 to 10 percent. Uh, I'm recommending a protein intake somewhere around 3 to 10 percent, but in fact it's impossible to get down to three on whole foods. If you're eating a diet of whole foods, which is one that I recommend, fruits and vegetables, you're already going to eat about 6 to 7 percent of your calories from protein. If you eat a few nuts and seeds or you eat a few um, eat a little extra vegetables, you can easily boost your protein intake up to 8 or 9 or even 10% of calories if you want. 10% is not the goal. 10% is the upper limit. I'm recommending between 3 to 10, somewhere around 6 or 7 I think is about ideal.